What up? It's your boy X, MachineMasters.com. I'm um, just here with a quick update to a tutorial we've already done for y'all. It's really just more like a trick, little tip, if you will. Pause. Uh, but anyway, AG showed y'all last month how to create custom images, artwork, logos, and all that for uh, your drum kits in Machine 2.0. Uh, when he did it, he did it on Mac. Uh, so that helped out a bunch of people, but we have had a bunch of dudes come forward asking how to do it for PC. Uh, apparently, there's a little bit of confusion in terms of where to save the images folder and all that. So I'm going to run through it fresh one time for y'all that's on PC so you can see it firsthand. Uh, run through it step by step so, you know, you could work all that out and have your joint looking right. Uh, I'll give you an example of what mine looks like right now. I got a lot of my um, drum broker, Illmind kits, all that stuff imported. So. Uh, it, it's definitely just a uh, a real quick way to kind of, you know, look and see what you want to use real quick rather than digging through a long list of names and such. In any case, let's get to it. So first things first, you want to be on this page here and download this custom image template. I already downloaded a copy right here, as you can see. So uh, I'm going to unzip it, extract the files, and we'll get right to it. Uh, what I like to do when I'm making these is extract multiple copies. That way... Uh, I could go ahead and just keep on naming them as I go and keep on making new ones. So I'll just highlight this joint, hold control, and keep on pulling copies off of it, just like so. Now for this first one, I'm going to do, uh, let's see what kit I'm going to do. I'm going to do this Drum Broker Slaps kit right here, Alcoda's uh, snare drum kit. So first thing I'm going to do is copy the name. All right, now it's important to note that you cannot use commas, periods, special punctuation, exclamation points, anything like that uh, in the names. Machine won't pick that up. So we want to go ahead and pull this point one out. I'm going to take the space out too, and we're just going to call this Slaps Kit Volume 1. All right. I'm going to right-click on this, hit Rename, copy the name. Now we can close this. We can close this. I'm going to come to my Downloads folder. And we're going to grab one of these folders and actually rename it Slaps Kit Volume 1. Now I'm going to come to Slaps Kit Volume 1. I'm going to come into the meta file right here. And I'm going to name that the same thing. So that's the first step. All right. Uh, next, we're going to delete this because I don't need this right now. Y'all can look at that. Uh, now I'm going to close this. I'm going to come into Photoshop. And I'm going to start opening up the files that came with that download. Go to Downloads. Find my joint real quick. Here it is. Slaps. So I want to open this VB logo, VB artwork, MST artwork, and MST logo. We're not using plugin right now because we're not doing a plugin. This is just a drum kit. So I'm going to open those four. All right, you can see they all pop open. So first I'm going to organize what I'm working on here so here's our actual logo here's our artwork and then here's our VB logo this is going to be on the software so these two joints right here are the software these two joints right here are going to pop up on the machine studio hence the MST name obviously so first things first we want to grab the artwork we're going to use so I'm going to go back to my downloads folder again I'm going to grab this uh, image for the slaps kit just drag that in <clears throat> all right so basically all this stuff is sized by default so we want to mimic those sizes now instead of me having to size this joint i really could just drag it in and then size it but since this is so small and this is so big it, it would take forever so uh, just clicking on it sizing it down and all that so the first thing i'm going to do is come into this guy go to images or image rather, go to image size, and I'm going to make this 134. And I'm going to keep constrained proportions set to on, so that it's 134 by 134. Even though this is a different size, I'm going to keep my image square, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, so now we got something a little bit more proportionate to what we're working on. So I'm going to drag this in, and now you can see Obviously, the whole image ain't fitting in there. Now, this is all a matter of preference, how you do this. Uh, I personally like to not size it uh, all the way down. Otherwise, it's all squashed looking. 
So what I'll do usually is just get it to a point to where the words look good, the picture looks good. I'm cutting a little bit of the picture off, but it's not like so much that it's unidentifiable. So now that we got that one done, I'm going to hold control and drag this up here. Now in Photoshop, a shortcut to do this real easy is control T. And now you can see the actual size of the image. So I'm going to just bring this down a little bit, bring this in, bring this over here. And I'm satisfied with that right there. So now we got our VB artwork and our MST artwork good to go. We're done with this joint. We can get rid of it. That simple. So now I want to save these to the folder that we created. So I'm going to go to save as. We we'll want to choose PNG. We're in the slaps kit folder. So you see how by default Photoshop called it a copy because it's already VB artwork in here. We want to overwrite this file. So we're just going to click this one. Name changes accordingly. And then we're going to replace it. Just click none and OK. We don't need the image to be interlaced. Now, same thing. Repeat the process for this one. File. Save as. PNG. And see how I put copy again. So just highlight MST artwork. Replace it. And now we're halfway done. Now you, can, you can leave these open. For the next one that you do, or if you're done, you can just close them. I'm only going to do one for this tutorial, so I'm, I'm pretty much done right now. So now the next thing we want to do is create some text that's going to show up in machine when we pull these kits up. So I'm going to go to my text tool. I'm going to keep it on Arial Black. I want white text. And I'm going to come in here and make some text. So we're going to call this uh, Drum Broker Slaps Kit. Volume one. All right, I'm going to highlight that just for convenience. Copy it. Come up to this joint. Paste this. Drop it down. Boom. Now, I like to size these out a little bit. So, I'm going to make the drum broker tag bigger. And uh, trick in uh, Photoshop so that you don't have to look at this highlighting and you can change the size. Uh, while you're doing this is hit control H. Now you see it's not highlighted no more, but if I come up to um, the size and then when you go up and down, you can see the change is not highlighted. So you can actually see what it'll look like while you're working on it. Uh, I'm satisfied with that for the most part. I'm going to make it a little bit larger and I want to do the same thing for the bottom guy. Once again, control H. I'm going to highlight the size, make this just a little bit bigger. I kind of like it like that right there. I don't want it to be like even. I like emphasizing the title <clears throat> or the author rather than the title. So now I'm going to size this or uh, I'm sorry, move it so that it's centered. And then I'm going to repeat the process for this one up here. Same thing, control H, click on the size, bring it down a little bit. And then you can click V to get back to your uh, selection tool real quick. You can click T to get to your text tool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and size this. I'm sorry, move it. Get it centered. Now I'm satisfied with both of those. Those are good enough for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and save these into that folder. Obviously, again, they need to be PNGs. We're in the correct folder. So this is the VB logo. So let's highlight VB logo. Overwrite it. Boom. So that's good. Now we're done with that. Now let's go ahead and save this one. MST logo. All right, so now we're good. We can close that, close Photoshop, and let's navigate back to this downloads folder where the folder actually is. Uh, find that slaps kit folder. And we don't need this MST plugin, so I'm gonna delete that. And now we got everything in here that we need. Now this is the important step right here. We wanna take this folder and put it in the correct path so that machine recognizes it. 
So since I know easily where the folder's at, instead of uh, copying this and pasting it, so I'm just gonna since it's already highlighted, I'm just gonna cut it. So you can go to edit and cut, or you can just hit Control X. All right, now I'm gonna go to the location, and this is gonna be the same for you guys. So you want to go to your C drive, users, public, public documents. Native Instruments Resources or NI Resources, Image, and this is it. This is where you want to paste it. So right here, I'm going to hit Control V, paste it in. There it is. Now we're good to go. So the next thing we want to do, come here to Machine, and we need to import this. So we want to come to Files, and now here's my Alcoda Slaps Kit. Oh, my drum broker slaps kit. We need to refresh this list since I changed the name. And there it is right there, slaps kit. So I'm going to highlight that, import, drum broker, drums, and these are all snares. So now I'm going to import it. It's all tagged. Now we should go to library, all samples, and it should be right there. And that's it. It's that easy. We can see all our joints. You can see the image, drum broker, slaps volume, or slaps kit volume one. And obviously, it'll reflect the same information on the machine studio controller. So that's it, man. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to you know hit us up, sound off. You can go uh, ask us questions actually right here on the comment section for the tutorial itself. And we'll holler at y'all next time.